Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Now I know I've been gone for a while, but my life has been crazy and I am back. So I really wanted to share with you guys my skincare routine. If you guys have seen some of my very first videos, um, y'all could probably tell my skin was horrible. Like it was disgusting uh, to say the least. Uh, I had been suffering with adult acne for about like two years. It just came out of nowhere and I tried everything. I tried to do the all natural kind of routine and it finally got to the point where I just couldn't take it anymore and I knew that whatever I was doing was not working so I made an appointment with a dermatologist and let me tell you I was in her office for less than five minutes and she told me what to do, what I needed to do, and prescribed me with um, an anti-inflammatory kind of medication uh, that I was supposed to take every single night. And then she prescribed me with a few face washes uh, for the morning, as well as a few creams for night. So, all together she literally talked to me for like I said less than five minutes and was like I'll see you in three months and I'm like um so I was very very concerned and I kind of had um I was a little bit reserved because I didn't know <laughs> what how it was gonna turn out and she said I'll see you in three months and I'm like okay like that's really weird like she never asked me about my diet about um, my current skincare routine, none of that. So uh, I left it all up to her because she's, you know, the dermatologist. She knows what she's talking about. And I mean, as you can see, my skin looks a million times better. I don't have any makeup on. I only have mascara because without it, I literally look like I have no lashes. <laughs> but um, I'm so excited. I was at a point in time where I literally did not want to leave the house without makeup and to come this far and be able to like walk out of the house and be like okay you know um I'm I'm so happy and I really want to share with you guys my skincare routine so hopefully if you guys are struggling with this um I'd recommend you know going to your dermatologist if you've tried everything and it doesn't work um because I mean, I was lucky enough that my doctor knew exactly um, what she was talking about and this is about uh, a six months into my routine. I started seeing major results within month two. Um, my acne was completely gone and all I was left with was like very um, harsh discoloration. This is the best my skin's looked. Like I said, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, like when I first started, it was very, very dark and it was very bad. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, she prescribed me with a few different medications. Um, I'm just gonna start off by talking about the oral medication that I was taking. It was called Solidin and it was 105 milligrams. And what that is, is an anti-inflammatory um, medication because my skin was very, very inflamed, very irritated. I couldn't even like lay on the side of my face like without it hurting and it was just really swollen and it was horrible. So um, I had been taking that for about four months and like I said, within month two, my acne had really dramatically gone down. So let's dive in. Um, in the, my morning routine, this, all right, so this is Sulfa Cleanse, and what this is is um, a topical control of acne. I don't know, it's got a lot of different medical type kind of terms on here, but um, basically, it contains green tea and aloe. And honestly, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but this is um, it kind of peels the dead skin away um, on your face. Don't quote me on that, but 
when I first started taking this, my neck, uh, even though I never washed my neck with this, um, it really got very sensitive. Um, it was very raw and my skin kind of got very dry, which was weird because I have very oily skin and this really dried it out. You literally only wash your skin with this for I think 10 seconds it's just a really quick rinse in the morning so you know there's no major dirt on your face or anything like that um, uh, after using that sulfa cleanse uh, I use different and that this is a, a retinoid cream and it was supposed to help with the discoloration she prescribed me with this around I want to say month four um, Actually, no, it was at, it was going into month four, it was after three months, um, because I was like, okay, my acne's gone, what about my skin, what about the discoloration, so this really helped with that. Um, I literally use an amount that's smaller, it's probably as big as my pinky nail, it's so tiny, and I just smear it all over my face, and then immediately... <laughs> After that, I like to moisturize my face and especially using such, um, I guess, powerful acne medication, I get very sensitive to the sun, so that's one major thing. So I use um, a Cetaphil <sighs> moisturizing lotion and it's non-comedogenic, -com comedogenic, whatever that word is, y'all, I don't know, um, but it doesn't clog your pores. So um, I like to use this. Uh, along with that, I use a moisturizing SPF uh, sunscreen, and it's the same brand as Cetaphil. I just started using this lotion, um, I would want to say like two months ago, because I started running out of this. This entire tube was like $11, and I bought this back in August, and I was like, damn, this is so expensive, you know? But it, it has lasted me, it's on, it's on its last straw it's like a, a little pump applicator so but it has lasted me a good six months and it's time for me to get a new one and i will definitely say uh if you are fighting acne and uh acne scarring apply sunscreen going into my night routine um when i do wear makeup i always use a makeup cleansing kind of towel it's been a struggle for me to really find, um, I guess, a good makeup remover wipe because some of them are very irritating to my skin and I get like very like sensitive to it. I don't know. It's very irritating. Um, what I can really relate it to is like almost like a burning, like if you're putting alcohol or something. And I've gotten even the Burt's Bees brand where it's supposed to be like all natural and stuff and that even really irritated my eyes but i found these makeup cleansing wipes they're by bio miracle and um i don't know it says removes mascara and it's made with bamboo extract and vitamin e and collagen and it's moisturizing and soothing and not to say the least it really is it's um oil free and it's hypoallergenic I don't know y'all but um I literally got 60 of these wipes for $3.99 okay so I don't want to make this video too long so yes this is what I use to remove my makeup um after I do that I use this oxyclean um acne medication face wash face wash <laughs> And what this is is a 10% benzoyl peroxide face wash. Um, before I started using this, um, I was using the clean and clear version and that I did not like. I used that until it ran out, which was about two, two months, I guess. And then I found this um, OxyClean, or why do I keep saying OxyClean? Oh my God. This Oxy <laughs> acne medication and I love this way better. Um, it works amazingly. So I guess to say the least, if you were just looking for a simple acne fighting face wash, uh, in general, non-prescription, give this a try, especially if you, have, if you have oily to combination skin. Just make sure you moisturize very well after you use this um, because it'll definitely help. 
and after I was using this um, kind of benzoyl peroxide face wash uh, she recommended that I used this medication called Onextin which was a cream very similar to um, this Terminator 10 uh, benzoyl peroxide acne spot treatment thing. This is a cream that you really can just dot in or rub it on your blemish and I'm so serious when I say this like it dramatically um, clears your acne like literally overnight like not all the way but at least like if it's inflamed and stuff it will dramatically go down the next day by the time you wake up so um, instead of using the Onexin which is the prescription which is literally it was 70 to 100 dollars for that medication as well so I mean it was eating my money every month and I just couldn't do it anymore so I really was looking for alternatives and I used to use this in high school my mom is the one that actually um, would bring this home because in high school I had some pretty bad acne too so when I was looking for, for alternatives to this I was like oh my gosh what was that one stuff that I used to use and so I went to Walgreens because that's where she would always buy it so I went there and they still have this and I believe this retailed for about I want to say eight or nine dollars don't quote me on that um, but this was a great substitute um, to kind of use after this face wash to kind of apply to the blemishes and let it calm down now if this is too strong for you like I said if you don't have oily or combination skin all this kind of benzoyl peroxide creams and stuff really might dry your skin out so um, like I said I'm only quoting the oily skin girls and my experience but these are the main products that really helped me but if you um, if you find that your skin doesn't really have um, active acne anymore and you really just kind of have blemishes you don't need to use this every single night I just use it if I feel like um, I feel not bumps but like if I feel kind of the feeling maybe I'm paranoid but I just don't want to suffer from acne anymore so sometimes I do use this um, just like I said to do my other stuff but anyway I'm rambling I know I know I'm rambling um I do like to use this dual power moisturizer and what this has in it is salicylic acid which is I in my opinion it's a way more gentle um, acne fighting medication like for instance in here it has 0.5% of salicylic acid um, however <laughs> yeah this is oil free and it moisturizes very good and it's very great at night when it comes to exfoliating or using face mask, I don't do it very often, but I have gotten the habit of at least exfoliating once or twice a week. Sometimes, like I said, it's like literally only once a week, but what I do use for an exfoliator um, is this Bosha or Bosia, Bos? Bosha, <laughs> this Bosha exfoliating peel gel. And what this is is a lightweight peeling gel that delivers gentle exfoliation for a deeper, more thorough cleansing result. This peel mat, this peel gel works in three ways: as a physical peel to remove the outer layer of dead skin, as a chemical peel to penetrate deep into the skin for in-depth exfoliation, and as a treatment to firm and brighten for a healthy complexion that's there's way more written on this but that's the gist of it it's literally an exfoliator that kind of uses your own dead skin cells to kind of exfoliate um, this is the packaging this is what it looks like I have had this for quite a while now especially since I only use it like once once or twice a week um, this has lasted me um, I don't know almost a year I would say but I use like one or two pumps and I just roll I and I like rub it around my face and it just starts picking up disgusting dead skin like you can see it if you guys want to see a video of me using this go ahead and comment down below because I'd love to show you how this works it's very very awesome and it's very gentle as well um, another oops <laughs> another alternative that I use for an exfoliator is green tea 
I drink green tea almost every morning. I'm not a coffee person and I never drink soda or anything like that. I literally drink water all the time. Um, so green tea is a great alternative for an exfoliator. Um, what I like to do, oops, what I like to do is use um, the green tea leaves and rub it on gently. Um, honestly, I do that on rare occasions. I would literally say about um, once or twice a month when I remember to because this has came in handy. But if you're feeling like you need an extra exfoliator, definitely recommend using some type of green tea leaves um, to do that. Um, also, lastly, what I like to do on rare occasions, I'm not really into face masks that much um, just because, I don't know, I just don't really remember or it's one of those nights where I just kind of want to treat myself and, um, I don't know, just feel like a girl. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I like to use this Freeman, Freeman, Freeman. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. I like to use this Freeman um, mitten clay mask. I don't know. It controls oils and breakouts and it's like freaking mint green color and it's like a clay with, uh, it has lemon in it as well which also fights uh, kind of discoloration and everything. But um, it's perfect for breakout prone and oily skin and I've used this like I don't know since I would want to say since high school too because um, I always kind of found that this really helped but it's like for one of those days when you just want to feel like you're at the spa and stuff like that but that's it for my skincare routine I know I talked your guys's ear off and I know I probably was like speaking so fast but I just didn't want to make this video extremely like long for you guys and boring I know you guys like to just get to the point or at least I do when I'm watching a video it's like get to the point show me what you did I want that skin so um, I hope you guys like this video if you did don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any tricks with acne that have really helped for you um, if you aren't already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to kind of see my behind the scenes daily life and Twitter. I've just started getting into Twitter. I don't know what I'm doing on there, so help me you guys. Um, but like I said, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.